Man, sometimes it is amazing what people are able to do. YouTube decides to remove dislikes from their platform for nonsense reasons like, oh, it's to help protect these small content creators from dislike attacks. But we all know that that's a bunch of baloney. It's because corporations and government videos tend to get downvoted to hell because people dislike a lot of the things that they're doing. Well, just a couple of weeks ago, this was created. Return YouTube Dislike. Uh, which is also available in the Firefox add-on store as well as the Chrome web store. And this application does exactly what it sounds like. It returns the dislike ratio to videos on YouTube. Now, one thing that you should know is that the number of downvotes that you're going to see with this add-on doesn't represent exactly what the number of downvotes are in real time. Uh, if we visit their website, returnyoutubedislike.com, uh, there is an FAQ page that goes into more detail about how this works, uh, and it's short, so I'll just read each thing. Uh, so where does extension get data? combination of the Google API data and scrape data. We save all available data to our database for it to be available after Google shuts down dislike counts in their API. Uh, so yeah, apparently that API is still working, but it's slowly being phased out. Um, I, I think it depends on the video because uh, there's so many videos on YouTube that I guess they can't just all remove them at one time. Uh, so they're being removed day by day, hour by hour. Uh, video dislike count doesn't update. Right now, video dislikes are cached and aren't updated very frequently, once in two to three days. Uh, not more often, yeah, it's not ideal, but it is what it is. Uh, they're working on improving how often uh, we can update them. How does this work? So the extension collects the video ID of the video you're watching, fetches the dislike and other fields like views, like etc. using our API. If this is the first time the video was fetched by our API, it will use the YouTube API to get the data that stores the data in a database for caching and like I said, cached every two to three days uh, and archiving purposes and returns it to you. Uh, the extension then displays the dislikes to you. Uh, so this is important here, the archiving purposes. Uh, that's a good reason to just install this add-on if you are still finding videos that show dislikes uh, to archive how many dislikes they have uh, so that other people who want to watch these can, well, see how much they have. Because for some videos, especially things like YouTube Rewind, for example, uh, you know, one day people might go to it and think, oh, people liked this video because uh, it actually does have a number of upvotes on it. So yeah, like this is what the YouTube Rewind 2018 looks like um, without this add-on enabled. So you can see it has 3 million likes and maybe people will be tricked into thinking that, oh, maybe a higher percentage of people enjoyed this video. Uh, but if I refresh it, because uh, I had the add-on enabled, you can see that it actually has 19 million dislikes. Uh, and again, this is uh, estimated. There could have been many more added, like maybe a million more added uh, since then. And we just wouldn't know because it's probably uh, estimating this. I would think that this YouTube Rewind 2018 <laughs> probably isn't viewable for everyone. I bet you this was the first video that YouTube decided to remove the dislikes from. And then of course, on the last question on the FAQ, what's gonna happen when the API, the YouTube API stops returning the dislike count, then they're just going to switch to use a combination of the archive dislike stats uh, and estimates extrapolated from extension user data and estimates based on viewed like ratio for videos whose dislikes weren't archived and for outdated dislike archives. But right now, this is pretty much the best that a content consumer uh, can really do to actually see or get an idea of how many dislikes a video has. Because right now, the only uh, people that can really get an accurate read on their dislikes are the content creators. So like you can see in the uh, content section of Creator Studios exactly how many likes and dislikes uh, different videos have. And I think that this is actually something that they're going to start building into the application. Um, Let's see, yeah, I think it's this feature request that they just added a few hours ago uh, where they were saying that you can get this accurate data from the Creator Studio and to implement it. And then this is the owner of this repo saying, yes, it is in the plan. So 
This probably is something that's going to be put into this application later on. And I think that that's going to be a really big deal, uh, especially if this add-on uh, catches on, which it kind of is. Like it's, it's only been out, you can see for two weeks and it's already got 50,000 users that have downloaded it uh, or installed the extension on Chrome. And then I think like 5,000 uh, or no, 8,000 on Firefox. So yeah, once the ability to scrape this data from Creator Studio is available, uh, it made sure that it's secure. I mean, it is GPL after all, so I guess I could just look through the source code myself to make sure that it's not trying to do anything mischievous with access to this page. Uh, but once that's implemented, it's definitely something that I am going to use because one of the downsides to the dislikes being removed is that it's much harder uh, to actually trust what's being said in a video. Uh, now, just because something is downvoted to hell, that doesn't necessarily mean that you should just follow the mob and agree with whatever the majority of people are saying. That's literally herd mentality, which is pretty cringe. But for things like maybe DIY or like instructional educational videos, um, if there's a lot of downvotes on it, then that probably means that some parts of the content is wrong. And being able to see these dislikes is a feature that a lot of people really want back in general. I mean, hell, if we go back to the video that's announcing removing these uh, dislikes, it has 350,000 dislikes. So I take that to mean that at least 350,000 people want to be able to view how many dislikes a video has, which makes perfect sense as a content consumer. Being able to see the dislikes is important, especially amongst people making DIY and educational content. So I really think that a movement can be started. You know, I doubt that this is going to encompass the entirety of people uh, that are using YouTube, but I really think that if the word gets out about this application, that more and more people are going to be able to download it. And if enough content uh, creators start sharing their data with this add-on to make it even more accurate, this could start to become a staple add-on that I guess almost everyone who's using extensions uh, is going to be using, sort of like uBlock Origin. Uh, and from the content consumer perspective, the creators who don't do this, who don't share their uh, data with this uh, add-on, they might be seen through a similar lens to maybe athletes that try to avoid drug tests. Uh, I know that that's a bit of an apples to oranges comparison, but still, I think that if you make a good, well-researched video, good, well-researched content, you should want your viewers to be able to see that like and dislike bar. You literally have nothing to lose and it doesn't cost you anything uh, just beyond installing an add-on and probably ticking a box to let it uh, scrape that data on your uh, content page. So definitely go check out this add-on. Uh, like I said, it's available on both the Firefox and Chrome web stores. Uh, you don't have to be signed into YouTube or give this add-on access to your account or anything like that to see dislikes. Uh, I know some people were using, uh, what's it called, vidIQ to, uh, for a little while to be able to see uh, the dislikes, and that does require some access. I'm pretty sure you actually have to have a YouTube account to use it. Uh, and frankly, it gives you a whole lot more data than you would probably want um, if you're not a content creator yourself, at least. It's got a lot of like SEO stuff that I don't think really content consumers would want to see. Um, but their method for displaying dislikes, it doesn't even really work anymore. Uh, this add-on here is the real deal. Download it for yourself and leave a like and comment on this video to hack the algorithm. Have a great rest of your day.